In July 2014, the U.S. Army awarded Raytheon a USD $235 million contract for new radar digital processing kits for the Patriot radar. These new processors will improve uh, detection and identification of threats and ease the transition to the PAC-3 MSE. Um, Raytheon is also transitioning its analog radars to a new digital format, mostly due to obsolescence issues, and they expect to do that work over the next five years. One interesting thing about uh, the Patriot radar is that uh, currently the radar, uh, the way it's built on the production line, is it's hand-wrapped. And that process takes about four months. Uh, moving to a solid-state radar will actually cut some of that time down um, significantly, as the company says, significantly saving in cycle time reduction. Maybe the biggest news for Raytheon has been the demonstration of a prototype radar with uh, an AESA and GAN arrays. And the AESA and GAN arrays will improve the range of the radar uh, upwards of two times, bring improvements in power, thermal conductivity, and improve reliability two to three times for the U.S. Army. Raytheon anticipates developing that radar probably in about the 2017 time frame. Uh, the company has also shown a 360-degree uh, capability with the radar. Uh, now allows it to not only track theater ballistic missiles with its larger array, but they can actually now track um, air-breathing targets, cruise missiles, aircraft, UAVs, with the smaller uh, rear-mounted uh, fixed panels. Raytheon is also looking at doing some other things now that it's adding AESA into the radar. Uh, one of those uh, potential capabilities could be a communications um, system for the radar. Uh, and for its part, the U.S. Army is looking to integrate the radar onto its network uh, in the near future. Moving to the PAC-3 MSC should increase the intercept altitude of the missile along with the missile's range. The U.S. Army is also introducing a new launcher, the M903 which will be able to launch all three variants of the PAC missile, the PAC-2, PAC-3, and the PAC-3 MSE. Additionally, much like um, the radar system, the Army is looking to move this launcher onto its network.